Hey everybody, Matt Bell with Electric Violin Shop. So today we are going to do a live discussion on several violins that we have that are under a thousand dollars. We're going to go through and talk about all those. We're going to play them all. You can see them, you can hear them. We'll talk about what do they come with, what are the functions, all that kind of stuff. The first violin I'm going to talk about in the under a thousand dollar category is the Yamaha YEV. This is the natural color. Comes with a couple different colors of wood. This one is uh, painted black. They come in four string or five. Has this um, sort of Mobius strip thing going on. You can see it's got the teardrop shape here, but the wood actually twists um, as we go. So it's, it's flat down here. You can put your uh, shoulder rest on there, and then it twists around. It does have the upper bout here, so you've got all the contact points as you're shifting. They're really beautiful. They're super lightweight. They feel good under your chin. You can change out the chin rest if you want, but it has to be something that's center mounted, obviously due to the geometry here. And yes, a lot of people ask, you can use whatever shoulder rest you want on here. If the shoulder rest fits on your uh, acoustic violin, it'll also fit on this violin. Oh yeah, yeah, they're passive. Come with Zyx strings. There's the volume knob and the defeat um, button. Um, and then they just sound really fantastic. <laughs> So when, when these first come to us from the factory, and here's a reason to buy from us instead of somewhere else, and uh, yes, this is a sales pitch, but it's also true. When, when we get these, they are in a box, and the bridge is collapsed, everything's wrapped up, and, um, and it's not set up. These bridges are stamped in the factory, and they are not shaped by a craftsman to go on the instrument. They tend to make them a little tall. And that's so that um, your luthier can cut it down for you. Well, we actually do that for you. We have an in-house luthier who will do that, and he will cut the bridge down and, and put more of a traditional um, curvature on that bridge, and that's free. That's part of just the service that we provide. You can do all that if you want to, or you can just order it from us. We'll do it for you for free, and then we'll ship it to you. This is the NS Design Wave. These come in amber, red and black. Obviously these come with the um, with the NS Design um, shoulder rest system which is crazy adjustable. You can move this up and down. This post extends up and down. You can extend, you can move this forward or back on here. You can also rotate it. It rotates on this axis here. Um, and then this is a malleable aluminum. Um, so you can bend this and form it to however you want to fit nicely on your shoulder. Volume knob and a tone knob on these instruments. And they do come with a custom case. The thing is, a YEV can fit in pretty much any violin case. The NS Design can't. It's, it's a really crazy shape. So it comes with its own custom case. So the NS Design Wave... <laughs> instrument in the comparison is the um, the wood violin Stingray SVX. They make a, a four and a five. This one is the, the black. They also come in red. It's got a, a fleck in there. I guess you can see it. Um, so they come in four, they come in five, they come in black, and they come in red. Um, this has the wood violin's true tone pickup in it. If you can see that bridge, it's in the pickups embedded in the bridge. Um, these come with a volume knob, no tone knob, just a volume knob. Um, they come with a case, they do not come with a bow. These have a, a really, really, really pretty, um, almost a uh, shimmery type sound to them. It's, it's got a uh, sort of a high frequency thing in there that's not, it's not bitey. <laughs> So, yeah, super, super pretty. 
you may have noticed that there's no bout on this instrument. It's a super, super streamlined looking instrument. Um, there's no bout, although there is a thumb stop on the side. So as, as you're shifting, you can feel that thumb stop. You don't have anything to hit your hand on as you're coming up, um, but it makes access to the upper registers super easy. The next one, this is the new product from Yamaha. This is the last one actually. This is the, the YSV-104. They come in brown, red, and black. This instrument cannot really be played live, sort of like the SV-150. Um, it comes, the signal comes out of here, goes to a control box. The control box has an input, it has an auxiliary, so the violin comes in, the auxiliary comes in, so if you want to practice along to some MP3s or something, you plug it into your phone or your MP3 player, um, plug it in there, and then it has a headphone out. That's it. There's no quarter inch out, there's no XLR out. This is a practice instrument only. Um, inside this box, though, is a little magic dude that makes it sound really, really nice. Um, it has a, uh, I, I don't know if it's a, um, if they're using an impulse response or what technology they're using in that little box to give it that, the warm sort of woody, um, that woody sound that, that you get in your headphones. And I really wish I could show you, but it doesn't really plug into an amp. So, um, yeah, so, I mean, I'll play it, but. That's what your neighbors are going to hear. You're going to plug it into headphones and it's going to sound glorious and it sounds uh, really nice. You can just, uh, you can watch me and just imagine that I'm hearing something really nice in my ears. So yes, the YSV-104 is an outstanding practice instrument, but is pretty much only a practice instrument. So thank you guys for hanging out with us today. And, uh, Hope you got some more information about the, the entry level, the under $1,000 category. If you guys want to know about prices and information on all the other stuff that we carry, go to our website. It's electricviolinshop.com. All of the prices, all of the information we got right there, it's all on our website. So you can hit that there. Thank you guys, and uh, we'll talk to you guys later.